hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl sean Cherie, and i am back with another video if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're not thank you so much for coming back to watch another video before we get started with today's video make sure you all head over to my instagram at underscore sean Cherie to follow me there and to stay connected with me for today's video i will be reviewing the makeup revolution conceal and define foundation and concealer so if you want to see how the products look on me and if i like them just keep on watching i already primed my face using the milk hydro grip primer one of my go-to primers so i know this is good but before i primed i did do my skincare as you can see i'm a little bit super moisturized so i'm ready to go i also did my eyebrows using this elf instant lift brow pencil in the color deep brown now as i said in the intro i'll be reviewing the revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation and the concealer as well i also did pick up this Makeup Revolution Cover and Conceal, Ultra Professional Cover and Conceal Palette. So, I believe I showed this in one of my hauls a while ago. But it looks like this. And I just wanted to use it today. I haven't used it. I'm going to use it to clean up my brows. This is also in the color Medium Dark. I think I'm going to go into this color right here. This color was a really nice color for underneath. It gave it a little bit of a highlight. And then this one was more my skin tone. And it looks really good. They both blended out really well. So, so far, this is pretty good. I picked up the color F12.5. So this is what the packaging looks like. A frosted bottle. And the it has a really big doe foot now i knew it had a dope foot but this is like really huge so this is what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and put it on i'm gonna put it on using the applicator and just blend out one side with a sponge and then one side using a brush oh not bad and i know some people are freaked out with the doe foot they're like oh this is unsanitary but i've said it before i'm only using this on my face and i'm using it on a clean face so i don't see any issues okay so i'm going to use this elf stippling brush it looks like this and i'm going to blend in the foundation This is how it looks blended out. It does have a little bit of a smell if you care about that, but look at this. It is gorgeous. It looks, it blends out really nicely. It definitely gives coverage and it looks, it looks really good. It looks really good, you all. Look at that. So this is one side with the foundation. And then this is without foundation. As you can see, I have some dark marks here. I have some on this side too, but it covered it up really well. So not too shabby. I'm going to go in with this side again, and then I'm going to use my sponge. This is how it looks blended out. This side has, this side was blended out with a brush, blended out with a sponge. So I'm not seeing too big of a difference. The side with the brush might have a little bit more coverage, but both sides look pretty good to me. Again, that was in the color F12.5. Now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I picked it up in the color C10.2. It also has a doe foot, it's just smaller. Okay, the color is not too bad. And it does have a little bit of a makeup-y smell. And I do plan on doing a wear test, so it's currently 
a.m. So we can say 10.30 is the start time. I want to see how this foundation and concealer performs throughout the day. Okay, this is how it looks blended out. It blended out really nicely. It's not super full coverage, but it's giving a nice coverage and it's not too bad of a color. So not too bad. Let's see how it looks when I set it. Now to set it, I do have this Revolution Banana Deep Powder. I have used it before, but it is a little bit dark. So I'm gonna mix it. Just gonna put a little bit on this little plate here. This is how it looks. And I also have their setting powder in the color beige. So it's a little, you can see it's right here. So I'm just gonna mix both of these together with my sponge and then use that to set my under eye. So this is how it's looking. It looks really nice. It's set really well. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal True Match Powder in the color caramel beige and just set the rest of my face. I'm gonna dip into this Tammy Revolution Collaboration Palette, the face palette in the color Paradise Glow. And then I'm gonna go into this color right here to bronze my face called Bronze Goddess. I'm gonna go back into that little powder mixture and then just kind of carve out my bronzer a little bit. I'm gonna go into this XX Revolution XS blush in the color Crank. So it has this really cute packaging and then this is what the blush looks like. Really pretty, very pigmented. So I'm gonna be careful. The blush performs really nicely. I really like it. Now I'm gonna go into this Milani Make It Last Matte Finishing Spray and then set my face. And I'm gonna go back into this Tammy palette and then go into this Highlighter Paradise Glow to highlight my face. The face is done really quickly. I'm gonna go into my eyes. Since this video is about the base products, I'm gonna speed through this. I'll be using the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Palette. It looks like this. I've never tried it, but I'm just gonna do a quick, simple look for this video. Okay, so I am back. I used the Makeup Revolution lip pencil in the color TGIF. And then I went on top of that with the Revolution Pro New Neutral Satin Matte Lipstick in the color Tease. And then on top of that, I went with the Temi and Revolution Collaboration with the Sheer Brilliant Gloss in the color Gone Rogue. This is how the look came out really quickly as far as the eyeshadow palette. The, the mattes blended really well. I didn't like the fact that the shimmers were not super metallic or shimmery. You can see a little bit of shine, but there weren't that blinding shimmery formula. So 
I mean, I guess that's fine. They did have some pressed glitters, which I don't really use those, but the palette overall was pretty good. This is how it is looking right now. It's currently 1.52 p.m. So I had this on for about an hour and a half. It still looks really good, as good as it did when I first put it on. This is going to be my first check-in, so I'll check back in with you all later and let you know how the products are holding up. So, see you then. So, I am back. Currently, it is 6... Ooh. Currently, it is 6.43, so I started at 10.30, so I had this on for a little bit over 8 hours. So, I don't even need to say anything. Look at this. Look at my face. I look like super oily. I look like I've been dumped in some chicken grease. This, I feel like... I get, I'm a pretty oily in my T-zone, but I feel like I've never look this oily in my life and i'm just like what the heck is going on because it looks so good at first i know it's been eight hours i haven't touched up or anything like that so i know it's been a while but a couple of hours in it had already started to look like this so i'm like what the heck and i didn't want to touch it up because i wanted to show you all the true honest tea of how my face is looking this is a bit excessive like i've never i feel like i've never looked this oily and what i think it is i actually think that it's the concealer because i usually do get oily in my forehead this is not unusual i feel like maybe not this shiny but i get oily in my nose area but not, never really all the way right here this bad and what makes me say that it's the concealer is if i turn to the side you can see it's shiny all the way right here all the way right here which is where i put the concealer all the way on my forehead which is where i put the concealer even oily on my chin here under my eyes and here is where i put the concealer so that makes me believe that it's the concealer that's causing all of this shine now if you look just like right here and right here and kind of on the perimeter of my forehead where it's just the foundation it still looks as good as new it still looks fine it's no oily oiliness no shininess so that's why i'm still like oh i'm gonna give the foundation a chance the foundation is still holding up pretty well but it's the concealer it looks oily af it did not last and i have never looked so shiny so much like a piece of chicken in my life <laughs> i almost would have thought okay maybe it was the powder the powder that i used but if you remember i used that same powder to set this area to carve it out and there's like no shininess whatsoever so it couldn't be the powder the primer that i use the milk hydro grip i use all the time and it's never made me this oily or anything like that so i know it's not the primer i have a little napkin here i'm gonna go ahead and blot for the first time today so you can see this looks so much transfer oh my god just lightly going over the shiny areas this is how the the napkin is looking after i blot it it's kind of a lot of transfer i do want to point out that i didn't go anywhere i stayed in the house i didn't wear a mask i didn't do anything i can see maybe if i was out and about maybe sweating to be a little bit more oily like i was but i literally did not do anything but stay in the house i do feel like once i touched up it still looks good looks as good as it did when i first started the oil was just too much really quickly i'm going to blot this area where it wasn't really any shine just to see if there's any transfer here with just the foundation it was a little bit but not anything compared to this i am on the fence still about the foundation i'm gonna give it a try using a different concealer one that i know works well and see how it works so this is still up in the air i'll give you all the update okay friends i am back i wanted to do a quick check-in it is actually the next day that's why i look different and I reapplied the same foundation just using a different concealer because I predicted that the concealer was the thing that was making me more oily. So currently right now it is oh, currently right now it is 416 
p.m. I did my makeup at, I started at 8.30. I kept time. So I almost had this on for about eight hours, which is about the same amount of time that I had it on yesterday. Now, I do <laughs> know that I look really oily, especially in my T-zone area. But after wearing it all day, I definitely feel like it was the concealer that I didn't like. Although this looks oily, if you look up close, the makeup still looks really good. I feel like it was really oily, oily in this area. And then it was more, I put some, a lot of highlighter right here. It was way more oily here. But now I just feel like it's just being beaming from the highlighter and it's not as oily all over my face. Here again, it's the same thing, normal. So it's just really oily in my T-zone. Now, everything else that I used on my face, other than obviously the eyeshadow and lip product, was the same. I just changed out, I believe, the bronzer, which doesn't really make a difference in this situation, and the concealer. And the concealer that I used today was the 16-hour camo concealer in the color tan neutral. And I feel like even though I look oily, it still looks like a really good base. So I have another napkin here. I'm going to go ahead and blot my oil so you all can see. Again, a lot of transfer. There's still a lot coming off. But as you can see, once I went ahead and did that, it looks... To me, it looks as good. It looks as good as new. It looked just like it did when I first put it on. Honestly, after I bought it yesterday too, even with the concealer, it looked just as good as when I put it on. So take that how you will. I might still use the concealer again. Just you know, I'll just have to touch up throughout the day. Again, I wanted to do a full day wear test without touching up. So this is how it is looking now usually maybe on a regular day if i was going somewhere else i would have touched up throughout the day so i don't think how oily i was it's just like a representation that the foundation and concealer is so bad because i would have touched up if i was doing anything else like again today i didn't go outside i didn't do anything i just stayed in the house and worked from home and those were my natural oils that built up again in person it looks really good after i bought it all of the oiliness away I'm, i guess i'm saying all this all this to say i will try the products out again i just don't feel like it's as long wearing as some of the other products that i had which is fine i would just blot and then go in with some powder and then go over my face during the middle of the day if i'm having a long day and then it's back to normal so i don't see that it's that it broke down anywhere or anything like that it still looks good so all you just need to do is blot your face if you get really oily, oily like me and then you'll be good to go so yeah those are my final thoughts after a two-day review now you're gonna go back to yesterday's shine so she can wrap up the video so bye i hope you enjoyed me doing this fun this foundation and concealer review make sure y'all head over to my instagram at underscore sean sheree to follow me there and to stay connected with me again my name is sean sheree thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Backseat,